In the beginning there was no earth, no oceans, no sky, not even a sun, just a vast cold cloud of gas and dust drifting in the darkness of space. This cloud, known as the solar nebula, was made of hydrogen, helium, and tiny grains forged in ancient supernovae. It floated for eons until gravity was triggered, perhaps by the shock wave of a dying star. The cloud began to collapse in on itself. It spun faster, flattening into a disk. At the center, matter compressed until nuclear fusion ignited, and the sun was born. Around that infant star, the leftovers, dust, ice, rock, and metal, began to stick together. At first these were just microscopic grains, but they clumped into pebbles. Pebbles became rocks. Rocks became planetesimals, city-sized building blocks of planets. Through relentless collisions, one of these grew larger than the rest. Earth was forming, not all at once, but piece by violent piece. This young planet was a molten sphere of rock, reshaped constantly by impacts from asteroids and comets. One such impact, with a Mars-sized object called Theia, nearly destroyed Earth. But the debris from that collision coalesced into our moon. That catastrophic event also helped mix Earth's materials, setting the stage for its layered structure. A heavy iron core sank to the center, while lighter elements floated upward, forming the mantle and crust. Volcanoes roared, steam and gases filled the skies. Over time, Earth cooled. Water vapor condensed into rain. It rained for centuries, filling basins, forming the first oceans. As Earth's surface solidified and the atmosphere thickened, something remarkable began to happen. The first building blocks of life appeared. Earth had gone from stardust to a living world, forged by gravity, time, and unimaginable violence. The planet we call home was never given. It was built, atom by atom, over billions of years.